spinning DDT off the top rope on an Aaron M in the air. Oh my, are you serious? And Doyle defeating Aaron Emony. Gabby Kimmy, what a huge upset that was, Rock Jock. I'm taking it to Coca here. Dora, uh, oh man, Trump has been on a huge roll as of late. And that huge elimination right there is living proof to that. I mean, like I said, they've been on a huge roll, at least ever since they came back at Hornet Night Bash. I mean, first, they defeated the team of Ursa Ariano and Olivia Ariano in a tag team match on Assault Episode 19. When they pinned the double X champion Olivia Ariano, and now after this, defeating Aaron Emony, the same woman who almost ended the career of Athena. It seems like ever since the movie 2012 came out in theaters and how it's doing so well in the box office, I guess that comes into play. You gotta assume and how uh, Endor is doing so well here, but not as of right now. As she's precariously on the top of the table, as Coco set up on top. Oh my god, a huge drop kick! On the table, they even break now. Coco, who's got planned here, and doing motion. Like, oh my God, Rock Jock, clipping her DDT to endure through the Spanish announce table, taking her head off, and throws her back in the ring for a cover, which has to be assumed a three count, and, and no doubt about that, is Endor is out of it. I spoke too soon to my sure there's no way in towards me to walk out of that huge clipping her DT the same way. You know, it's definitely gonna appear on the do some type of in some type of head injury of some sort. And now Pink Angel now in the ring that's Coco, a longtime rival. Now finally Coco, excuse me, Pink Angel finally in a two-on-one handicap situation for the first time in her career. And she's now two-on-one as we take on her. She's going Coco and Ursula Ariano. Definitely paybacks a bitch. So remember, folks, with that beach party slam and Pink Angel, with, along with Anna Tan and Reggae Diva, that huge assault on the Coco, just because Coco refused to be a part of the winner's circle. Now, episode Beach Party Slam, part 11, was an event that we've dubbed as the obliteration of Coco. That's what he has attacked I've ever seen in my entire life. And Pink Angel up top of that spinning leg drop on the Coco from the apron there. Never seen Pink Angel ever attempt that maneuver. And it seems like ever since Pink Angel lost at Hornet Night Bash to Coco and losing the Women's Championship, he's been adding some more moves into her reper repertoire. Trying to keep up her, on a game and Coco! That steel chair rearranging Pink Angel's precious features there. I know the enforcer would probably cringe when he saw that attack there. Get Coco back, Pink Angel back in the ring as her. Oh my god, her head was extended off the apron and Coco with that chair shot again. He's taking full effect of this no DQ stipulation! It's just. Now it's Pink Angel's neck just gets spiked like a fence post into the mat. And that has to be... Oh my... Pope. Pink Angel able to kick out of that cliffhanger DDT. I have no idea how she managed to do that. Well, on a historical standpoint, Pink Angel is the only double X who's been able to ever kick out of the cliffhanger DDT. So we all know she's able to take that maneuver. And you know... Pink, you know Pink Angel... Got come the covering DT on. Wait, wait, wait! Oh no! Wait, picking on her feet on the ropes. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, Raph! You mean something you did not see that? Pink Angel on the damn feet on the damn ropes, and Coco eliminated just like that. And Coco, just you saw the look on her face as he leaving the arena's floor here, just disgusted with that outcome. Oh my God! Also, Ariano with that 450 splash on a pink angel on the top, and oh! No way. No way. Coco was able to kick, pink angel was able to kick out of that. Also, Ariano changed the road to the ref. I guess she thought it was uh, too slow. Pink angel, though, with DDT. Well, I mean, normally everyone always thinks of Coco always able to battle out of any, or Coco always be, being the one who can, who, who, who can take any type of beating. And look at this. Ursa Ariano with a mount of pressure, but only managed to get three in. Coco, or, sorry, Pink Angel somehow managed to telegraph it. 
We always know, think of the person, Coco, being the one to come back under anything. And look, also Ariano, that each little super kick, that Pink Angel has seen it coming. And now look at this, following up with this, finisher of that instant, or excuse me, that Victoria Secret Slam. And this has got me right here. This cannot, oh, this can't be right here. And also Ariano somehow managing to kick out of the Victoria Secret Slam. Like I'm trying to say, we all expect Coco being the one you know, to take a beating, but believe it not, Pink Angel to take a beating like no one can. And we've seen her taking a cliffhanger DDT and a 450 splash. And still managing to keep on keep fighting here. As we saw Pink Angel discussing with the referee, and taking him up for that count. And now Ursa Ariano, furious as she always is. She has absolutely no friends and vintage. Or so Ariano, that huge shoot to the face, running off the ropes and taking Pink Angel's face off her head. And that East St. Louis super kick, there you go. This has got to be a right here. That's the leg. Wait a minute, who is this on ringside distracting the ref? Wait a minute, I'm taking a closer look here. That's Olivia Ariano distracting the ref. Or so the ref didn't see the, didn't see the count there. That hesitation cost Ursula. That definitely would have been a three count. Referee didn't see it. And now it's Ursula in the corner here. Oh, oh no, again the feet on the ropes, Ref. How is Robert swinging? How do you not see this? No! King Angel, that's a three count. Not this way. Here's your winner. Pink Angel. Damn it! This match cannot end like this, not like this. I mean, these four women's careers on the line. Coco, Ursa Ariana, Mona Loka, Aaron Emini lose the match for that damn move. And out of all of you, why the hell was Olivia? Why the hell were you, Olivia, out in the ringside? You had no business being out here. You were striking the ref. You put screwed your sister out of the match. And look at this little replay of how this, these eliminations took place. Mona Loka was a first one eliminated by Pink Angel's Victoria's Secret Slam. But once that door gathering the all momentum with this reverse spinning DT up the top rope. And we were shocked as all as this was actually was able to eliminate Aaron Emini. But Pink Angel pinned her feet on the ropes, pinned her, the current women's champion Coco, her arch nemesis. It should have been, been over right with that East St. Louis super kick, but no, this idiot had to come out to the ring. Olivia Ariana, why it was she out there? I have no idea. If uh, she was in a circle the referee, that would have been a right there for sure. And Pink Angel coming in and eliminating her the same way she eliminated Coco. Throw it into the corner. But with this cheap ass roll up, feet on the ropes, and of course Robert Sweeney didn't see it happen. That referee definitely needs to see glasses for sure. And why does he remember always disgusted, always pissed off every time I see Pink Angel ever win a match? At least ever since she became women's champion after Master of the Ring, when she became part of the walk of the dark side. But after this this deplorable matchup, these four double X's, four part of the greatest double X's of all time, Ursa Ariano, Coco, Mona Loka, and Aaron Emily, their careers are gonna be Decimated by going on all these things they're arguing here. What the hell's going on? Mona Loka set between a rock and a hard play between Aaron Emmy and Ursa. And look at this, these two going at it. Ursa and Aaron Emmy and Mona Loka trying to stop this by force. We're not going after Ursa Ariana, but now Aaron Emmy, now Freeze going at it. Oh, come on. And man, 
Rock Duck. You can't see us here for we are, but Pink Angel's high toe out here is signaling someone. I guess that has to be only one man. I don't know who that is. Moraloka continuing to go after Aaron Emony though. That suplex, these three, they don't need to be worrying about each other. What they need to be worrying about is Broly. Oh my god, making his way out here. Oh no, don't do this, Broly. I know Pink Angel hired you and all, but you don't have to. I mean, these are three women. It's not right. This is just not right. Come on, Whip. Oh, Loka, Osariano, Aaron, let me get out of the ring. Broly's coming down here. He's gonna destroy, he's gonna end their lives. 